Good evening, everyone. Good. Do you think, do you think we have room to move you guys over here? Can we do that? How about, all right. Maybe I will talk from that area. And so I can, if you want to be yeah, I'll stand there. That's much better. So I can look at you and look at you all. So happy Easter, everyone. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. That's good. So I just wanted to, uh, I'm sure you're all excited about finishing this mess. You know, there's probably food and there's drink and there's sweets and chocolate Easter eggs and so many things to look forward to. And, and so am I. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, but I just wanted to walk us through a small message um, for, for today. And so I'll start off with um, a question for both our, our, um, our young ones and our parents as well. So who, who is under five years old or a parent who has children under five years old? Just put your hand up gently, yeah? If you, great, great. Who, <laughs> who, has, who is um, between six and 10 or has children between six and 10 years old? Yeah? Uh, very good. Even a few more hands. Wow, quite a few children. Alright, what about, the, let's say, a, a little bit older, so between 11 years old and 18 years old. Who, who's in that age bracket or has children in that age bracket? Yeah, great. You should put your parents' hands up, by the way. <laughs> great, so what I wanted to share today, I guess, is, uh, first of all, I know how hard it is to be a parent, right? And I want to acknowledge all the parents, really. I really want to acknowledge you for just all the hard work that you do, right? And um, I empathize, I really empathize. And I've got a, a young son, he's almost a year now. And when he was younger, life was easier, right? You know, to bring him to church, it wasn't that hard, right? If he needed, if he was um, crying, you'd give him a, um, some milk and he'd be happy and things would be okay. He couldn't move a lot, so we could control him. But now, he wants to walk, he wants to talk, he wants to climb, he wants to spit, he wants to pull people's hair and play, and it's just, it gets harder, right? And so, my life and um, our life at home, Renin's life as well, has changed. We had to change, adapt, and make sacrifices. Um, so what some of the changes we had to do was we had to put these gates um, on the side to, to block him. See, because he's climbing now, um, we realize our house is not so safe because he climbs onto the couch and then to the back of the couch where he can fall, right? And so we have to move things around. Now, this isn't a lesson about parenting because I know all of you guys are probably a lot more experienced than I am. But I wanted to say that God perhaps is not so different, right? When you know, imagine before we were created, God was probably having a good night's sleep. He would go to the beach whenever he wanted, and maybe he would have a coffee with Jesus, and, and there was peace everywhere. But there was so much love in his life, and, and in him, that he, he, you know, he needed to create. He needed to, to expand. Then he created us, and that was good. But, but obviously, like, like us, like the children we have, we are sometimes troublesome. Right? We sometimes knowingly or unknowingly don't do what God asks us to do. Um, and so we get ourselves into trouble. And in the same way, just like I had to change my house and change my life, God changed his life as well. And this is the example that we see. Right? God left his heavenly palace. Um, he left his heavenly palace um, and came down to earth. Right? And he lived a poorer life than he had, right? Just like us, the parents now, it's in a sense a much more difficult life. Um, and more than that, we saw yesterday he was, he was, um, people were rude to him. People mocked him. They beat him. They abused him, made fun of him, right? All for who? For, for us. Just like us parents, we sometimes tend to look after our children. It is, it is very hard. But 
I think in this Easter, the reason why he did it, he wanted to show us two things. One, first of all, that he loves us. But he did it because he loves us. God wanted to show that he loves us. Two, he wanted to show us more and more that he is God. He is the true God. There is no other God but him. Right? Everything else we chase is actually false. And he wanted, he asked us for three things. He said, don't forget what I have done for you. Obviously because I love you. He said, be good to your brothers and sisters. Right? Just like we parents, we tell our children, be good to your brothers and sisters. In the same way, he says, look after each other, not just at home. Not just at home, but in your church family, in your school family, in your work family, and in your world family. There are a lot of people potentially suffering in this world, and we have a responsibility to help and make a difference in their life. The third thing he said, tell others what I have done for you. You see, some people have forgotten what Jesus has done. Or some people don't know what Jesus has done for them. So, from this day, right, we have an opportunity. An opportunity to share, not with just language and with words, but also with our actions, the example that Jesus left us with. So I just want to finish with this prayer for all of us. So Heavenly Father, I pray that you guide us throughout this year. May you guide us to always do your will. And may you bless us with the wisdom to know what is good. Also, bless us to be a great example and that we may share through words and actions um, everything that you have done for us. Amen.